this is Nicholas Cardone with an introduction to the clarinet video. So as you see right here, this is the clarinet, okay? Um, it is not set up yet, obviously, so the first thing, I will show you how to set it up. So right here, um, I'm just going to go over the parts. Here we have our bell, okay? Um, that's the bottom of the clarinet. Here we have what is called our lower joint. Here is our upper joint. This little guy right here is called the barrel. This right here is called the mouthpiece. And this right here is a ligature. My ligature happens to be leather. Um, however, a lot of ligatures you find will be metal. And this piece right here just goes over the mouthpiece and the ligature, just kind of to protect it while it's in the case. So now I'll show you how to set up the instrument. So the best way to set up a clarinet is to go from bottom up. And the trick is you just want to make sure uh, everything's in the right place. Um, your hands are in the right position so you don't crush any of the keys. So what I like to do is I like to take the lower joint and the upper joint, I, I'm sorry, and the bell. Okay, I like to hold it like this. You see how there's no keys right here? There's only this one right here. I like to put the pressure right here. Um, and then I'm gonna take the bell and, and twist. That's it. Um, see, have your first piece set up. Next, I'm going to take the upper joint. So, as you can see, I'll come up close. See this guy right here, and this right here. That's called the bridge. It's the most delicate part of the instrument. So, what I'm going to do is, before I screw this on, I'm going to make sure I hold this down. Okay? Um, that you see when I push it lifts up the bridge. Um, if you push that down by lifting up the bridge, that basically just makes sure the two pieces don't collide and twist when you screw it on. So I'm going to hold the clarinet again in the same spot on the lower joint, and I'm going to hold it right here, because um, there's no space here, put my fingers there. I'm going to push down this key here, and twist on. And I'm going to make sure that this is lined up right here. Okay, see how that bridge is lined up? I want to make sure, otherwise your instrument won't play. Next, I will take the barrel. Okay, the barrel is nice and easy, you have no keys on it, you can just kind of twist it on. However, on the upper joint, what I like to do is put my finger, one finger here, and one finger here, and just put pressure there, because I'm, all I'm doing there is pushing the keys down, and pushing the clarinet in a natural position. So I'm just gonna twist that on again, Remember, you should always be twisting your parts on. Next is my mouthpiece. Okay, um, same thing. All I'm gonna do is twist that on. Okay, so here I have my clarinet. Okay, um, all set up, ready to go. So, one part's missing. See right here, that gap? The reed belongs there. So now I will show you how to put on the reed. Take a reed, okay? Reed, most essential part to playing the instrument. The position of your reed is very important here. So basically what I want to do is make sure this is lined up here. Okay, you want to line that up so there's just a tiny bit of black on the top. Okay? Okay, this is the position of your reed. Then you're going to put the ligature on after that. So I'm going to take my ligature, going to put that on. I'm probably going to have to readjust. So I'm going to readjust that, okay? 
And you could always readjust your read as needed if you think your instrument isn't playing the way you want it to be. Next, I'm just gonna twist this ligature tight. Now remember, the uh, pieces of your ligature, on mine, they happen to be on the back right here, on this side. On most instruments, they're actually on the front, and there, there could be two of them, and it's a metal piece. Um, it's always just important to make sure the way you screw, the screws always need to be on the right side. And here I have my instrument set up. Now, I'll just, before we start, I'll, I demonstrate starting to play, I will just talk about maintenance real quick. So, the most important key of maintenance is to swap out your instrument. Basically, to swap out your instrument, it gets all the spit out. So, what I'm going to do, take this swap, I'm going to take the part right here, put it through the bell, all the way to the bottom, you see how it comes out to the bottom, and all I'm going to do, nice and easy, pull it through. That's all you have to do, and you're set. Okay? The other part is, a lot of people like to grease. Um, greasing basically loosens up the corks, easier to put your instrument together and take apart. Now you see right here, all I'm going to do is go a little bit like that around the sides, just a little bit, kind of like chapstick. That's it, that's all you need, just a little bit each time. If you grease it too much, it'll become too slippery and your parts can slip off and you don't want that. I'm gonna put my reed back on. Okay, so our hand position on the clarinet, as you see, right here, your thumb goes like that. So I'm gonna hold it like this. These holes, your fingers just are gonna glide over there. Same here. One, two, three. Fingers are gonna go there. Now on the back, your thumb's just gonna glide over these two, right here. So I'm just gonna play a simple note here. Um, before I do that, I'm just gonna kind of explain to you how to get the note out. So we know our hand position. Um, what we're gonna do, the most important thing with clarinet is the air. You want a nice, fast air stream. Okay, so you can practice taking in air quick and just blowing. But before we even do that, forming the armature. So first thing you're going to do is iron out kind of a tablecloth or your bottom lip. So I'm going to go like that. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is tuck these, like the corners of my lips back. Okay. After that, I'm going to anchor the top of my clarinet mouthpiece into my teeth. So I'm going to dig the clarinet into my teeth. You don't want to bite down. You want to keep all your muscles firm, but you, whatsoever, you don't want to bite down. So I'm anchoring, I'm tightening, and then I can play my note. <laughs> That's basically it. Um, once you form your armature, the rest is easy. Now, taking apart the clarinet, all you have to do is, same as before, position your hands the same way you did as if you were assembling it, and instead just twist the other way and put it neatly in your case. Um, thank you, and have a nice day.